everybody. Welcome to Strumming with Christopher. My name is Christopher Gallegos. I'm the librarian at Gonzales Library for the Monterey County Free Libraries. Um, I've been playing guitar since I was 13. I was in a bunch of bands. I did all that stuff. And uh, now I'm a book person. <laughs> uh, no, really, I love being with Monterey County Free Libraries. I'm so happy that uh, we've all been able to offer some alternative types of programs now that things have changed. Mm -hmm. And uh, today I want to talk to you a little bit about guitar playing and the most basic thing that you start with, and that is tuning your guitar. And I want to also show you a little chord at the end, and we'll explain what that means. So what does tuning your guitar mean? Well, we have the parts of a guitar right here. We have our headstock, tuning pegs, neck. These little steel wires are called frets. This is the sound hole. This is the body. This is the bridge. And what's probably the most important is your tuning pegs and your strings today. So we have six strings, and if we start here at the top with the thickest one, that is an E, then there's an A, then there is a D, G, B, E. Now, knowing these letters might be important if you decide to pick up an electronic tuner. There are also apps that you can get. Um, there's one called Guitar Tuner that is on the Apple, Apple uh, App Store. Pretty good. But in general, you can also come to this video. It's good to be able to see somebody doing it as opposed to just using your ear. Your ear will get trained in time. So think about the strings as thickest to smallest. Six strings, E, A, D, G, B, E. Uh, Eric ate dynamite. Goodbye, Eric is a good mnemonic if you want to remember that. And so I'm going to show you real quick with another guitar that's also tuned up. Hopefully I don't lose my tuning here. So what you want to do is you want to start with these strings, and I'm going to play each one three times for you so you can hear the tone and match the tone to it. Now here's what a low E sounds like. So say it's out of tune. Say I pick up my guitar and the strings are just kind of at some random thing. How do I change it? Well, you want to look to the top tuning peg, which in this case is the one uh, facing me on the top, and you kind of twist it, and you'll hear as you're playing the strings here at the bottom, the tone is, so I start twisting it. So what you're doing is you're twisting those pegs and you might have to experiment a little bit to see how your guitar reacts. Sometimes some tuning pegs are really, really hard to turn. Sometimes they're a little too loose. But the whole idea is you're tuning the peg to get the sound that you want. And why is it tuned E, A, D, G, B, E? I have no idea, but that is the standard tuning that you use for most guitar things out there. So it's good that we get that first, because when you first get your guitar, temperature changes, knocking it around, whatever kind of guitar you have, doesn't matter, steel, acoustic, classical like I have, they're all going to need to be tuned before you start doing anything. So I'm going to play each string for you three times, and go ahead and see if on your end, pause if you need to, go ahead and make sure that the tones match. Um, the tones I'm playing and you don't need a pick you can use your finger it doesn't really matter we're gonna talk about all that stuff but the important thing is you're playing the string and you're making sure with a tuning peg on the top you go from each string to each string and you match the tone so here's what the low E should sound like want your A to sound like this. Okay, and you want your D string to sound like this. So this is the third one down now. to the third from the bottom. Now they're starting to get thinner. G string. Okay, we're almost done. And the B string, which is the second to the bottom, should sound like this. Right? 
And then we finally have the high E string should sound like this. Okay, now your guitar should be tuned, and don't worry if you have to keep going back and pausing, rewinding, and also you can just get a tuner, but I thought this would be a nice friendly way to uh, start this out. So now... What is that I just played? That's called a chord. And all a chord really is, is it's a bunch of notes played at the same time, um, as opposed to a melody, which might be like a guitar solo, you know... melody versus a chord. So one of the easiest chords, and it's a very valuable chord because you can use it um, for various things once we start learning more chord shapes. Think of it as if you were doing yoga or if you were doing a, a workout program, you'd have to learn certain things, a push-up or chaturanga or you'd have to learn a back bridge or a pull-up or something. And, and the same thing with chords. You're learning the shapes. And that's one of the first things you learn is these shapes. Before you start worrying about fancy strumming and stuff, you learn these shapes. And then after a while, you start learning how to transition from one shape to the other. And then before you know it, you're playing songs. So we want to start with an E minor. Now, I have a certain way I do it with my middle and my ring finger. But just for ease here, there's not a right or wrong way to play this. It takes two fingers. So for the easy version, we'll have our pointer finger and our middle finger. And you want to go to the second, once your guitar is tuned, you want to go, here's the first fret, right? And don't ever play on or near the wire too much because you'll get a chunk of chunk sound. What you want to do is you want to try and play somewhere in between the wires here. That way you get a nice clean sound, right? So what you want to do is, starting with good technique from the beginning, think about your thumb, kind of have it on the back here. Try to keep it in the middle of the, the, the neck here, kind of in between for now. Kind of have a little pinch going, right? Think of that being there, and then what I want you to do is uh, take your first finger, your pointer finger, and go to fret number two on the second string down, which is the A string, okay? And then press that down with a pad of your finger, or the tip of your finger, I should say, if you can, your tip. And then you want to get your middle finger, and you want to go directly under that, so to fret two on the D string. And you're going to have to have your middle finger kind of off to the side a little bit. They, it's very not going to be easy for them to stack. And then you're going to have them press down like this, okay? And what's cool about this chord is that when you start learning chords, you're going to have to start learning rules like don't play all the strings at once or it'll sound muddy. With this one, you can play all six strings at once. And it'll have a nice, beautiful, clear sound because you're using all six strings on the guitar. So all these chord shapes we'll be learning at the beginning will be up here, more or less these first three areas. And those that's kind of your backbone when you start learning guitar. Those are what you have to learn first. So I'm gonna let I'm gonna play this, and I have a pick here just so it sounds nice and loud. But you can also pinch your fingers together like you're pinching a potato chip or something like that. And don't worry about the rhythm right now. Just hit it however you can, and you should hear something like this, okay, with your E minor chord. See how nice that sounds? It's a nice, open, powerful chord. Since that's the first chord you've learned here today, just make sure every time you tune your guitar up, you'll get better at, at doing it by ear and getting very close, but you can always use an app, you can always go to a music store and buy a tuner, or you can come to this video and just make sure that your strings are all tuned up to the E-A-D-G-B-E -E tuning before you start. So you want, or from down up. Okay, you want it to sound like that, and then remember, second fret, pointer finger on the A string, and then on the third string down, your middle finger, and you have your E minor chord. Beautiful. You just learned your first chord and learned how to tune your guitar. Thank you all so much for your time, and hope to make many more of these videos for you in the future. Hope you enjoy. Thanks all. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.